I want to talk about the uh, online platform on Interactive Python. Um, we're going to be using the uh, textbook How to Think Like a Computer Scientist. And uh, the way we want to get started is go ahead and click on Chrome. And in the address bar, type in interactivepython.org. Hit enter. And once you do that, you'll be able to get to this web page. Um, but we need to go ahead and create an account. Right? But before we do, go ahead and click on the star button so you can bookmark the site. Once you do that, it is going to create a button on your bookmark bar. Uh, so you can just press that to get to the site. And of course, we're going to be using this site very often. So be sure you bookmark it. And go ahead and click on the silhouette. Uh, click on register. That will take you to this screen here. You'll go ahead and fill out all of the information. Right? Be sure to use your um, your uh, email address, right? the one that was given to you um, by the school. And for the course name, this is something that's very important. You're going to type in SMHS underscore intro CS. That's the name of my class. And so by doing that, you're going to be added onto my class list, and you'll be receiving my assignments. And uh, you know, without that, you're going to be off on your own. Uh, you know, without the additional assignments that I'm going to assign, uh, in addition to those in the textbook. And so here, be sure to type in the text that you see here. This is to prevent any bots from creating a million accounts and destroying uh, the bandwidth on this website. So go ahead and type in 233 if, in this case, hit register, and that should create your account. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and log in using my um, teacher account so I can go ahead and show you a couple more things. So here we have the textbook, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist, Learning with Python. It shows you right here where you were reading last. So you can go ahead and click on continue reading if you'd like to go back to where you were. Or you can go ahead and click on how to think like a computer scientist. Okay. So if you click on this on the top left corner, it's going to take you to the uh, table of contents. Okay. And as you go through the text, right, uh, chapter for chapter, um, I guess unit for unit, um, it's going to yellow. Um, the, put a yellow button next to each uh, chapter. Right? And they're very short chapters, so you don't really need to worry too much and think, oh my gosh, this is going to take forever. Right? So let me go ahead and click on one of these here just to give you an example, like what is debugging. And okay, you can see here as you go ahead through it, it'll, it'll take you through some text that you should read, and it's going to ask you a question. Right? In this case, it asks you a, a multiple choice question. And so you go ahead and click it, check it, and if it's wrong, you can answer again. Right? And so once you have everything complete, you can click on the button mark as completed and move on to the next portion. And so let me go ahead and try to find one that shows um, a question that asks you to create a program. Right? So let me come right over here to for loop under the turtle uh, unit. And you can see here they have an online video to teach you, right, to help me, so I don't need to create those videos for you. And so we come over here, and you can see here that they have a box, right, called active code, an active code box where you can type in code, hit run, and it will run the Python program for you here on the side. And so as you go through the online textbook, it'll, it'll explain to you exactly what active code is and what uh, you know, code lens is and all of these other tools that we have. Uh, but for now, just understand that some of these questions are going to ask you multiple choice questions, but the majority are going to ask you to create a program in Python, and you'll just do that right in the box. Okay, great. And as you go through the text, uh, make sure you understand what they're talking about. If you don't understand what they're talking about here, and you, you watch the video, you tried the program, maybe you got the program right, uh, but you still don't really understand the, the core concept that they're teaching, please, please go ahead and put uh, the sticky note that is on your computer on the top of your computer so that you could show me that you have a question. I'll come to you when I have time and uh, let me clear that up for you. 
okay? Because again, I want to make sure that you understand each of these concepts because we will be using them in our labs and in our projects. So, um, you know, it's best to get them cleared up as we go through the text in the first, uh, you know, set of assignments. And then once you do understand everything that's going on here, go ahead and click on Mark as Completed, and you it will move you on to the next uh, page, right, or next uh, chapter. Or you can click on this button here, and it'll move you forward. All right. And so I'm going to click on How to Think Like a Computer Scientist again, which is going to take me to the um, table of contents. And another important portion of this website is the class assignments portion right here at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on class assignments, and you can see here that I already have posted up Tuesday and Monday's assignments. These are going to change because I'm going to update them right after I finish this video. Um, but what this is going to be asking you is to um, write some code, right, in active code. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on show code. Right? You can also click on hide code. And so here, what is the question? It's saying write down your login for Interactive Python. And what this question is verifying is that you actually created a login and you were able to successfully get onto the Interactive Python site. Right? And so although the active code a box is used to create programs, right, I'm also going to be using this uh, code box to ask you general questions right, in these exercises. So the majority of these homework exercises or these uh, class assignment exercises will be uh, me asking you to create a program, but some of them are just going to be asking you to answer general questions. Okay, so go ahead and do that in here, and I think if you type in, it will not hit the enter, right? So it will continue typing on the same line. And so I'd appreciate it if you went ahead and hit the enter button for me as you reach the end of the end of the box. Right? So if you're going ahead and you're typing in your answer here to my general question like what is the meaning of life and you would go ahead and get to the end, hit enter and say continue on with your thesis on why the meaning of life is to be fruitful and to multiply. And so when you go ahead and finish answering the question you can just hit save and it will um, you know show me on my screen on my teacher screen that you have turned in the assignment, I'll go ahead and grade that for you. And so again, this is going to work just like the class website where I'm going to be um, stacking them one on the other. So you'll see Monday first, and then uh, maybe the next day you'll see Tuesday on top of Monday, which you have already completed, and so on and so forth. And so um, if maybe you have reached the end of the week on Friday and you haven't completed all of the assignments that we assigned during the week, then you will have some weekend homework to, to do. Um, and I'm going to be going ahead and grading this weekly on Sunday evening. Okay, so that's when it's due. Sunday evening, weekly. And I think that's about it.